The artist I'd like to share with you today is Kenojuak Ashabak, illustrator and sculptor. But first, you might be wondering, what does it mean to be an illustrator? An illustrator is a person who uses drawings to tell a story. Now let's begin. Kenojuak Ashabak was born on October 3rd, 1927 in South Baffin Island, Canada. As Inuit tribe members, she and her family traveled through the Arctic hunting for food and gathering materials. Her father was a shaman who believed he could predict the weather and had the ability to transform into a walrus. Her mother taught her how to prepare animal hides and create traditional designs on them using stones. Life was not easy and every member of the tribe had to do their part in order to survive. Kanojuag lived a traditional Inuit life for many years, eventually marrying and starting a family. In the early 1950s, she was pregnant with her third child when she found out she was sick with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a highly contagious bacterial infection that attacks the lungs. The Inuit people were suspicious of modern medicine but reluctantly, to keep her family safe from disease, Kenojuak made the decision to go to the hospital. Her stay at the hospital, located in Quebec, Canada, would last three years and change the course of her life in an unexpected way. To pass the time, she and other patients had the opportunity to take art classes and sell their work. It was important that they send money to help their families in the Arctic. Fun fact, Kenojuak Ashabak was one of the first Inuit women to use a pencil to draw. Before this, Kenojuak had never even heard of art. She said, There is no word for art. We say it is to transfer something from the real to the unreal. Kenojuak explored many ways of making art, but using pencils was her favorite. In 1955, Kenojuak was well enough to return to Cape Dorset where she continued making and selling her art. What do you notice about Kenojuak's art so far? Using graphite pencil, felt tip pens, and colored pencils, she filled thousands of pages with drawings inspired by Inuit mythology and her connection to life and nature. Kenojuak Ashivak once said, I just take these things out of my thoughts and out of my imagination, and I don't really give any weight to the idea of its being an image of something. I'm just concentrating on placing it down on paper in a way that is pleasing to my own eye. Whether it has anything to do with subjective reality or not, and that is how I've always tried to make my images, and that is still how I do it, and I haven't really thought about it any other way than that. That is just my style and is the way I started and the way I am today. In 1959, Pinochuac and other Inuit artists established a print studio called the West Baffin Eskimo Cooperative. A cooperative, or co-op, is a business that is owned by the people who work there. Each member does their part to keep the co-op going. There are many steps to making a print at the West Baffin Eskimo Cooperative. First, the artist creates an original piece of art. Miners find and collect soapstone, a rock that has been used for centuries to create sculptures. A carver traces the original art onto the soapstone. Then, using a special tool, they carve the image into the soapstone. The printer hand rolls ink onto the surface and presses paper on top, creating a print. In 1961, Kenojuak's art gained worldwide recognition when a movie was made about her. She said, I try to present my ideas in the strongest possible way. I try to show an animal's great strength. I use the enchanted feathers on a raven, for example, to show its glory. By 1967, she'd grown tired of making art in an igloo and decided she was ready to live in a modern home. Her career continued to grow throughout the decades, and Kenojuak received tons of honors for her work. Kenojuak Ashivak was grateful that so many people appreciated her artwork. 
The legacy she'd created through her art would provide for her children and grandchildren. She said, I am an owl, and I am a happy owl. I like to make people happy and everything happy. I am the light of happiness, and I am a dancing owl. The end. Now it's time to create art inspired by the artist. For your activity, you'll need a pipette, scissors, a glue stick, straw, and a little bit of watered down tempera paint with a large piece of paper. So the first thing you wanna do is shake up your tempera paint because the water and the paint may have actually settled. So give that a little shake and then carefully open your lid. If you're having trouble opening your lid, be sure to ask for help. Then you're gonna take your pipette and squeeze the end of it and dip the pipette into your paint cup. And some of the paint should suction up into the end. You can squeeze some of the paint out. After I've dropped some little drops of paint onto my paper, I'm going to pick up my paper straw and begin just blowing the paint around very gently. You don't wanna run out of air while you're doing this, so just take your time, spin the paper around if you need to, going in different directions if you can. And this sort of creates energy because remember when Kinoak in her background, she liked to show the spirit of the animal. So this technique is sort of a way for us to create the spirit of our owl. You can keep doing that and keep dropping on paint until you're happy, but be careful not to let the paint go down to the edge of your paper. To create a print, you'll need a piece of plexiglass, a small piece of paper, your printmaking ink, a roller, and your actual stamp. It's better if an adult does this part. So an adult is gonna squeeze some of the printmaking ink onto the plexiglass. You don't need very much. And then you'll take your roller, rolling some of the ink out, making sure that it's nice and smooth, and then applying the ink onto the stamp, just rolling it on gently. You wanna make sure that you get ink evenly distributed on your image. And then students, you will take your smaller piece of print paper, lay it on top of the stamp, and gently press and rub the top of the paper. When you feel like it's probably pretty good, it doesn't take very long, you can gently peel up your paper and there, you've created a print. Once your owl print has dried, you may cut out your owl and you don't have to do it perfectly. I sort of chose to do a quick cut where I'm cutting the outlines, but if you want to be more detailed, then you may do that. And then using a glue stick, apply glue to the back of your owl and then place it onto your blow art piece. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed making your art project inspired by the artist Kinoak Ashavak. I look forward to seeing what you all come up with. Thank you. <laughs>